OG Apple TV, the one that started it all, was a huge monstrosity. Get this, it weighed 2.4 pounds. For reference, the current Apple TV weighs six times less at 0.4 pounds. Considering you can pick one today for around $15. Is it worth getting one in 2024? Well, let's find out. As we have already discussed, unlike other Apple TVs, this particular Apple TV was huge. It weighs 2.4 pounds and it measures 7.7 .7 by 7.7 .7 by 1.1 inches. You can't really appreciate how big it is until you actually left it. All the other Apple TVs are black. This one is different. It is actually white. Given its age, this TV actually comes with all sorts of interesting connections. There's an HDMI port which only supports up to HDMI 1 capable of 4.95 gigabytes per second. There's also a set of very interesting connectors. These are called component video ports. You can use them to connect to an old TV set. Fortunately, it comes with Wi-Fi. Unfortunately, it doesn't have any support for Bluetooth. I guess back in 2007, Bluetooth was not yet invented. To match the white color of the Apple TV, you get a white remote which is pretty unique. This Apple TV does not work with any of the modern remotes. If you look through eBay, you'll find out that there are two configurations. There's a 40GB version and there's a 160GB version. Don't be fooled by the huge memory capacities though. These are very slow hard disk drives. After using them for a while, the spinning will just drive you mad. Keeping on with the theme of being unique, this TV actually came with an Intel processor. To be specific, Intel Pentium M capable of 1GHz. This was a low powered chip, so definitely it will struggle a lot with the demands of modern apps. Seeing this device actually reminds me that there was a time that Apple and Intel were partners. Imagine a world where Apple and Intel remain friends for good. Imagine a world where they don't split, where they don't disagree, and all Apple devices have Intel inside. Thank goodness they split. As usual, software super, super outdated. This TV set can only run Apple TV Software 3 which was based on a completely different philosophy compared to the current tvOS. Instead of an interface where you get apps, you get a scrolling interface that lists the different media types. A lot like what you would see in an old non-smart TV. Of course, there's no AirPlay, no third-party apps, no Play Store. For $15, should you actually go ahead and buy this TV? Definitely a hard no. Considering there are no apps, there's no AirPlay, the design is outdated, you really have no business getting one unless you just want one for sentimental reasons or maybe you're just building out a collection of all the apple tvs that's the only reason to get one otherwise pretty much useless yeah the channel we've actually been going through all the apple tvs all the generations step by step so if you want to check out all the apple tvs go to our apple tv playlist just a quick question most tvs are powered by either arm processors think something like Chromecast and of course Apple TVs are powered by Apple chips. What do you think of a TV box exclusively powered by Intel? Would you buy one? Leave a comment in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe.